Hey everybody, George Jones. I was asked recently to do some training, so here's a three-part video training series on how to build and effectively support a team. So whether you're building a multi-level marketing organization or direct selling or anything of that nature, this is for you. So hey everybody, George Jones. This is part one of the video training series. Today we're talking about communication which I feel is the most important part of building and supporting a team. So, first of all, let me draw a quick team on this, uh, this uh, whiteboard, or should I say green board. So, let's start with Bill. And Bill sponsors George. And let's say that George sponsors Mike. And maybe Mary. And maybe Susie. And then Mary's going to sponsor Johnny. Okay, with me so far? So, in a perfect world, let's, let's go through that. Bill sponsors George. George sponsored Mike, Mary, and Susie. And Mary sponsored Johnny. Now, first of all, if, you, if you're named any of those, this is not about you. These are all fictitious. So, in a perfect world, when Bill receives information, of course he's going to push it to George, who would push it to Mike, Mary, and Susie, and Mary would push it to Johnny. But of course, as you know, we're not in a perfect world. If you haven't heard this about this industry, you know, people come and go. Everybody wants something different. So you, what I'm, I'm hoping to teach you today is what you have to do proactively and to, to, to get the message pushed down through your team so that everybody is hearing the same thing. This really is all about accountability. So let's say for example that Bill receives something and he sends it to George. Well you can tell that let's say that George is not listening or he's not reading his emails or he's not listening to voicemails or, or what have you he doesn't get the information. So what's happened? What's happened to communication? Think about it. The whole leg falls apart, right? Because none of these get it. Okay? And, and, and ladies and gentlemen, that is, that is reality sometimes. Sometimes people, if they haven't received any information in a while, they, they just kind of they drift away because they, they're not sure what's going on. So here's what I'm going to suggest. You know, when you, when you get somebody new in your business, on your team, so let's say that when, when Mary got sponsored by George, what I would suggest, and, and this, is gonna, this is going to take some work on all parties, okay? Again, when Mary gets sponsored, Mary should find out who her direct upline is. So, of course, she's getting sponsored by George, but Mary can also proactively say, well, who's above that? So, of course, above George is Bill. So, as long as Mary reaches up and not only has all George's contact information and Bill's contact information, this is, this is still salvageable. Now, conversely, as you're building a team, you should always reach down and, and, and reach your hand out to support your other team members below you and this is all going to come together. So when Mary gets on board, if Bill's watching his downline report, he'll, he'll see Mary and if he doesn't have any direct contact for Mary, he can go to George and say, hey, I'd like to get Mary's information. Okay? So, with, with just that little piece of, bit, bit of uh, communication, you can see how um, this can this can start to come and get you know come together and flow better. So over on this side right here, here's what I'm going to do. And again, you may have to watch this a couple of times, but I'm, I'm hoping this is all going to come together. And then, as as closing of this whole series, this three part series, I'm going to do an open Q and A call. So um, let's say Bill is sending information to George because again we. In, in a perfect world, we really should only have to deal directly with our, our direct sponsors and, and let the information flow, but we react to circumstances as they, as they pop up. So, 
let's say that George, or Bill sponsor, sends George a message, okay? So this is going to be from Bill to George. And he could send an email that way. But let's say he doesn't receive any response from George. Number one, will he know that or, or, or not? So here's, here's what you do. And, and again, this, this is all about training. Train your direct people and have them duplicate the process. When I send you an email, copy me when you send it to your team. So in the same situation, you know, if Bill, if Bill sent George a, an email, George would respond, okay, so it would be from George to Mike, Mary, and Susie. Mike, Mary, and Susie. Copy Bill. You see that? Look how easy that is. Now, by doing that, when I forward information, if when Bill sends me something, if I don't retaliate and copy him or blind copy him on the email, Bill knows that I'm not following through and he can, he can kind of be proactive and look in his downline and say, wait a minute, I know if George doesn't respond, I know this whole leg is missing so he can, he can get with the people he's got contact with. Conversely, Let's say that typically we're getting an email once a week, or maybe this you schedule this with your team, and Mary or Johnny hasn't seen something in a week. They go up, they go up line and say, "Hey, what's going on? Or why, why, why aren't I receiving any information?" So does that make sense? Now, and again, this can work whether you're sending it via email or via text, or even if you're using social media. You know, if you were sending. If you were posting this on a group page, of course you'd you'd tag Bill, but then you'd also tag or Bill would tag George. But instead, when George responded, he could tag Bill, Mike, Mary, and Susie. So this works regardless of the format you're using. So I hope that gives you an idea of an easy way to keep up with communication because it's key. People are going to come and go in this business. And you don't want anybody to drift away. You know, what I've always said, and you'll hear me say this over and over in my training, when people drift away, we, we, we do our very best to pull them back, you know, get them, get them back up to speed. Now, if they pull away, that's something different, you know. Um, if I'm sending, if, if Bill is sending George an email and George is, not responding and, and not responding to other messages, maybe maybe George lost interest. Of course, I'm George and I'm not losing interest, but you know what I'm saying. So that's um, that's the end of this this little training session. I hope that's valuable to you. And again, I'm going to have a Q and A session. So stay tuned for those details and for my next video session. Appreciate your listening.